Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and uh, welcome back to Lit Code. So, so far we have learned our Chrome extension development tutorial where we have learned how to build an XPath plugin for Chrome. And I have almost done the product and I have uploaded the XPath extension in the Chrome store and it's in the pending preview as of now. It will get uh, published once after the pending, I mean the reviews get over and it will take around two to three days based on the extension maybe uh, roughly around one week i can say and we can expect this after one week it will go live in the chrome store hopefully if there is any uh, privacy concern of course it will get rejected or else it is going to upload it in the store but before that if you want to try i have uploaded the entire code in my github repository and you can download the code from there and you can use it and please give me feedbacks based on that i can improve the product and since it's, this is a, like your preview version, I have disabled some of the features, but definitely it will come after the August 15th. And so I'm just going to tell you like how you can download the source code and you can install that locally in your machine. So for that, first head over to this particular uh, repository. So Tony Casey in my repository name and LetXPath is the repository here. And then we have two branches now. So master branch is the code that we are um, learning from the YouTube tutorials, right? So that code will be in the master branch. And if you select another branch, that will that is the dev branch. In the dev branch, you can download the entire source code. So you can just click on this code and click on this download zip and store it somewhere, maybe on the desktop. Okay, and go to your uh, downloaded place. So desktop, I think, where is that? Okay, so up, uh, just extract the zip file and copy the location of this and go back to your browser and here type chrome colon slash slash extensions. So you have to go to this load unpack. Before that, make sure that you have enabled this developer mode or else you won't see that. And just click on this load unpacked and go back to the location where we have saved this and just click on the select folder. Now, once you install, you will get some message like thanks for installing and all those stuff. That's uh, absolutely fine. Now, in case if you have any doubt uh, regarding how to use or uh, what this tool is going to give us, so you can just click on this. So, and you can pin this in your, um, I think, address bar. And if you click on this here, you will get like how to use and if you have any faced any issues you can log it and if you want to know how this tool has, has been developed or if you like to contribute to it of course you can go through and check all the uh, tutorials and you can um, have a look on that and of course it's licensed but open source and licensed and if you're concerned about the privacy policy you can go and check it out but to be honest nothing is there much it's just a chrome extension with few javascript code that's it nothing much here and let us see how to use this. So once you once you have installed, please restart your browser or else use new tab. Do not open in the don't do not use the extension in the same existing tab. So open a new tab. So I'm just going to my this play dot let code. And then probably you can just open right click and click on this inspect. And in this place, you can find this as let text path. You can if you want, you can expand or else. Uh, that's based on your browser size i can say now here you can see that we are able to get this particular id so if the id is unique of course it's going to give us and of course it is going to give us the xpath as well so here you can see that we are able to get around eight patterns again it uh, differs based on the element so if i click on this you can see still we are able to get around four and this one doesn't look good but uh, still we are able to get the four xpath correctly right now, if you want to want this tag name alone, you can just copy this so that will be copied. Uh, so let me just show you in the notepad. Or else if you want the XPath, you can click on this and you will get that. And if you like to get the snippet as, as well, so you can just click and it will give you a suggestion based on the element type. For example, if I go and click on this um, input field, uh, probably we do most of the time send keys or the get attribute, right? So based on the element, it will give you like send keys or the attribute. So I'll click on the send keys. So I can copy the entire code. By default, it will give you the Java syntax, but just in case if you want to get other syntax, 
you can click on this config and you can select like protector with the js or selenium with python or selenium with c sharp and custom framework is not yet built i mean it is built but uh, it has some issues so that's why that's the reason i have disabled this in this version because this is of course preview version so we'll see that maybe in the next version as of now you, you can use this for language so i'm just going to click on this protector and close this tab and no need to restart or do anything just now click on this get attribute or any other thing and you, you can see that we are able to get this as this uh, protector snippet right so that's easy it is okay now most of the time we do not go with this direct like um, this form or something but most of the time we have to go with the access based xpath right so we have a section here called access and it says that please use the context menu to select the parent and child element so let us assume that we want to find this text box based on this header uh, as a parent element so i'll right click this and click on the select parent and i will go and select this as my child element now here you can see that it has given the combined x path of the parent and the child so in this way we can make use of this access based x path definitely it will help you and also i'm trying to add more patterns to it so you won't get only one pattern rather it will give you like more suggestions based on your suggestion you can generate the x path uh, that's it i think and the, some of the features has been disabled uh, because it's a preview version so uh, of course there are some bugs as well so uh, i'm trying to solve it and in the final version you will get it absolutely everything whatever i have promised so far but this is just a preview version you can use it and you can do let me know what are your thoughts about this and if there is any changes i would be happy to do that and if you want any customization please feel free to ask me i will definitely do do that okay so i think that's it pretty much enough for this video uh, once the extension got released i will make a separate video on the entire tutorials and what are the features we're going to expect from this okay so um, please again do the uh, just let me know the reviews you can let me know in the comments or in the linkedin or uh, somehow you can contact me so uh, thanks for watching see you in the next one basically